could just use tissue. That can't go wrong. I have to implement. God, no! Let's blast it. Yo, it is your boy here, Cameron Brown from the Had a Cameron channel. I don't know if I'm even in frame. Today we're going to be doing another cooking video because I know how much. Can that flipping washing machine shut up? I'm trying to make a goddamn cooking video. In today's video, I'm going to be cooking loaded, loaded mushrooms because that's what we all like, don't we? Who doesn't love a good loaded mushroom? So I'd like to shout out my dad. Thank you for buying the mushrooms. Uh, for some reason, I asked for mushrooms and he actually bought them from the shop. He remembered, I appreciate it. In today's video though, we're going to be loading them up. Uh, I, I think I need a chef name. Yo guys, it's your boy here, Chef Lanky Man. I like that, Chef Lanky Man. Right, we're going to be cooking these loaded mushrooms. Give me a minute, I need to search up for an optimum recipe. The reason why I'm doing loaded mushrooms is because when I used to be a vegetarian, I used to be a vegetarian for like a month. Every time we went to a restaurant, which I think was once, the only thing you can really have is loaded mushrooms because there just is not many vegetarian options. And I remember having them and they tasted all right. Okay, this recipe seems all right. Four. This so much, so much. Look how many steps there are there. Now this is my own recipe, by the way. I want to clarify that this is not someone else's. I made this myself. So it says that the um, preparation time is 20 minutes, cook time is 15 minutes, and it says four. To be fair, I I'm really hungry, so yeah. So this is on the fitness health website, so it's healthy. Right, preheat oven to 400 Fahrenheit. Oh, flip you. God, that empirical pricks. Let's get into the cooking process. <laughs> that, that's a great transition. Also, I just want to mention, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We make quality content on the Hada Cameron channel, so you guys better be appreciative of it. Right. So here we have the mushrooms. Here we have the mushrooms, large, flat. So again, well, they're large and flat. John's just large and thick. So let's get our chopping board here. Now this chopping board smells like crap, so that's always great. We need two of these mushrooms. Let's preheat the oven. 200 degrees Fahrenheit, that's like... 100 degrees is 37. This is about 170 degrees, right? We're gonna preheat it to 190. <laughs> I'm so bad, I know. We're gonna burn down the house, guys. It'll be funny. Right, let's open this up then with one hand. That's the problem with cooking in a, as a retard. You don't know how to use your body properly. Oh, let's feel that mushroom. Oh, I don't even really love mushrooms. Mushrooms are all right, but they're not nice. Right, this is so annoying. I can only use one hand. So we're gonna put that in there. Yep. I'm glad this is working. This is good, because if you were a normal person, you know, if you were a normal person, or well, not normal, if you had only one arm, you could do all of this with one arm, because obviously I'm only using one arm. So I'm technically a little bit of a retard when you think about it. Right, let's spoon out the mixture. I think that's what I wanted me to do. Let's get a little bowl then to put in the said spoon mixture. Oh yeah, we need to wet it, don't we? Damp cloth. Uh, we don't have cloth, and this sponge we could use, but it's orange. So I think it's uh, been fiddled around with. I think I cleaned some tomato soup with that actually and it changed colour, that's pretty cool. Uh, we just, we, we don't need colour. We have hands for a reason guys, we've evolved over the years. Look, I'm wetting it, we don't even need a cloth. I'm saving the environment right now. Right now we're still not wasting water. Yeah, I'm saving the environment as we waste water, that's pretty cool. So yeah, we don't need cloth. Like, this is the thing, I'm getting sick and tired of people wasting our precious raw materials. We've got our hands, look at that. Hands, they do the job, look, we're wetting them up. Oh, we could just use tissue. That can't go wrong. I have to implement. God, no! That flipping oven is blowing cold air in my face. What the hell, man? So, yeah, we're just gonna. Ooh. Come on, lock in place! What the fuck? Now, luckily, we have found the equilibrium of balance. <laughs> right, so, what we have to do now is we have to spoon out the insides. That comes off just like a dream. Oh my god, what the fuck? Flip is this. Just have a little bite of this. So this is inside. I don't know if you can eat mushrooms raw, but it tastes very mellow. 
It tastes like a really bad marshmallow that you want to throw up. Yeah. Just get all this crap out. The flip! We'll be fine. We have. Shut up. So we'll just put this in this thing here. We'll we'll load up. Do we use the stems? Just chilling. 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 So bad, right? Let's get this up now. Okay, so the oven has preheated. Can you guys hear that? Right, what we have to do now is we're gonna multitask. So this is a spoon. We're gonna use that to actually open the um the container and we're gonna use a plastic bag, a utility bag to keep it safe. So you see the ham here. Now we can actually Ow! We got food here. You know, it's funny because my dad actually taught me how to make these uh, stuffed mushrooms, so it's not like he was gonna get angry at me for making them because he told me how to fucking do it. So we're just gonna cut there, cut there. We're gonna get lots of different pieces because I have my mocks, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm worried about getting my results. Uh, you know, I I'm sick and tired of this. I'm gonna eat my pain away. Too fair, I won't be eating this, so it's all right. This is a tip you probably don't know. You see the side here? A lot of people think this is for aesthetics. It's not. It's the most efficient way of grating your cheese. Look at this, it works. We're gonna use really, we're gonna get really big grates. You guys probably see my muscle flex I've been really building up my muscle. Uh, I'm trying to, yeah, satisfy my, what the flip happened here? I thought it was gonna work a bit better than, fine. We're gonna use the other same. Uh, we're gonna really get, <laughs> Uh, mix in this with the wrong end of the spoon. Uh, let's just turn that around, I should be thinking about it. Right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna... Oh god, how are we gonna do this? Right, uh... Can we put the... Oh my god. Oh, oh I've... Oh! I, I don't know if this is gonna taste bad, because... Here's the thing, like, if you think about what's actually in the mushroom, like, cheese, ham, and mushroom. That's not that bad. Like I like all of them a little bit. So it's all right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to spoon the mixture. Look at that. That looks really nice. We're going to put it into the mushrooms. Just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling. I'm just chilling. Just rocking this one, chilling. We can do it from time to time. That's what shit I've got in my mind. There you go. So we're going to put that on. That one we did. We, right. We're going to put this over to this side because. This is gonna be hard as hell to lift up, right? I've gotta say, hello mushroom. I'm sorry for abusing you. I know it's hard, right? We need a knife, we need we need a goddamn spatula. Come on. Oh yes. Oh. Oh. Right, there we go. There are our loaded mushrooms are. There that makes sense. There we go, our loaded mushrooms. They look really nice. A little bit. Not really. We're gonna open the oven now. You're gonna to wanna to open it nice and slowly. Oh my god, it's hot in there. Right, so we're gonna lift this very gently. We're gonna lift it with our care. That's actually really nice, the oven is. I'm gonna put it on the uh, top row because I can't bother to wait for it to cook. As you can see, the, the oven is taking care of our sweet, delicious treats. And we're going now, we're done. So we're getting ready to cook. We're cooking on forced air. Cook time is gonna be 14 minutes, 10 minutes actually, not too much. So what is gonna happen, okay? So we've got 10 minutes currently now, um, which I'm going to survey the crappy footage and clean up because it honestly looks like someone has sh uh, had, a, uh, had a poo on my plate. Dinner is served! Dinner is served! So I'm trying to attract the attention of my family because dinner is served! I've been go off! Go off! So anyway, we've got our two, uh, oh my flipping god, this mushroom is falling apart. There our mushrooms are, and I'm not gonna lie, they look terrible, but it can't be that bad, right? There we go, I'm so excited to see what our mushrooms, see whether or not our mushrooms live up to the expectation that I expected them. That's the point of an expectation, god dang it. Let's see if our mushroom, our loaded mushrooms really taste as good as what was advertised 
on the website. I really am excited. I think they're a bit overcooked, but let's, I might need barbecue sauce, you know. But okay, let's have a little bite. Oh, I am so confused. Why does it taste nice? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you take a bite out of it. And it's like you bite in heaven. I, I'm so surprised. They taste nice. Hmm. Mmm, the ham. Here's a weird thing, the stem tastes like beef. So, if you're a vegetarian, you know, you could implement, I think. I think you could use the beef, you could put it in a dish. But actually, jokes on you, it's not real beef. Wow, this one's got a lot more cheese on, so, oh my god, this one is so good, oh my god. You know what? I am honestly impressed. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this cooking video. Cooking with Lanky Boy 69 signing out. Thank you guys for watching on a serious note. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment, and also be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're new today, it helps me out a lot. Hope you guys have a good day. On a serious note, there's a link in the description to the recipe. It's actually nice. Like, who would have guessed? I think I did everything wrong as well. Watch another cooking video. This is a really good dish and I recommend you cook it also. So be sure to check out this cooking video. I made it with John so you know it's a lot better than this one. Watch it then, what the hell? Give me some more advert, you want that man.